Hello guys and welcome to the next part of Salesforce Associate MCQs. Now what I have decided is that I'll make two more parts. This is part 8 and part 9 and part 9 will be the last part. So in all these MCQs we have touched and covered almost all the topics on which you can be asked question and exams. Definitely there will be variations but if you understand each and every concept properly it will be very easy for you to you know deal with those variations so we will start with question number 76 schema builder is used to create virtual representation of objects in their relationships true or false so we have already understood what exactly is schema builder and over here they are asking us a question in which is schema builder used for the virtual representation of objects in their relationships yes or no so answer is true so like uh, schema builder is mainly actually used for that only like if you have too many tables and you know too many relationships between them it is difficult for you to understand like how they are connected how the re uh, relationships are built so in, in such places schema builder comes and takes place so over here you have question the answer and the explanation you can pause the video and read for yourself to understand the concept in a better way question number 77 a salesforce associate wants to share a dashboard with five other associates to so that they can subscribe for future updates he and she should do which of the following action we have three options share the screenshot of the dashboard b share the folder in which the dashboard is present c export the dashboard so we have already discussed this question earlier and in this case what they should do is they should share the folder in which dashboard is present so if you have you know worked in trailhead or with the reports and dashboards uh, so every folder has the main uh, place where the reports and dashboards are saved and all the people who have access to those they can edit and view the dashboards and rep uh, uh, reports present in them So it is just like you know google drive which you have used earlier okay moving to question number 78 i have created this question specifically so that you can understand the difference between a record a field and an object so if you know a table is made up of rows and columns and in salesforce table is known as objects column is known as field and record is known as a row so is this relation correct the answer is true so just to remember the terminology for exam I have created this question so you can just write this equation in your notes and you can remember it whenever you're trying to solve a question that has record field or object in them question number 76 which sharing type shares a single common infrastructure and code base trust multi-tenant or metadata so the sharing type in which a single common infrastructure and code base is shared among others is called multi-tenant so multi-tenant is a functionality on which salesforce works yeah question number 80 a salesforce user wants to load latest data into a dashboard so what we have three options do should they do a dashboard refresh should they download a report or you know they should refresh the browser tab so uh, again if you have worked with reports and dashboard in salesforce you must be aware that there is a tab like this you know that says refresh uh, above your dashboard so whenever you click that refresh the dashboard will be updated for all the users not only for you so what it will do is it will reload the data from the report 
and it will uh, adjust the visual representation that is the dashboard accordingly question number 81 a salesforce associ associate at get cloudy consulting needs a report for all active contacts grouped by account uh, what is the first step in building this report so we have three options over here create a contacts report with filter on account create a new report using contacts accounts report type create a joint report with accounts and contacts so if you're finding this question to be a difficult one that means you need some practice with creating reports in salesforce so i'll suggest you to head on to trailhead.salesforce.com create an account using your google id and start practicing the trail mixes that are targeting reports and dashboard so over here the answer is question number b in this case what we can do is we can create a new report using contacts and account report type when we will do this a report of all the active contacts grouped by account will be created okay so this is what it looks like like you have multiple you know report type and among this report type contacts and account is one of them so when you will click on it it will give you all list of all the active contacts group by account okay moving ahead to question number 82 in salesforce deals is progress are known as so in salesforce when we have you know deals are going on and in they are in progress so such deals that are in progress are called as lead contact opportunity or deal. definitely they are not called as deal they are also not called as lead or contact they are known as opportunity so over here the explanation has been provided apologize for my bad you know voice i am having a very uh, bad throat i have cold and cough so yeah in salesforce deals uh, in progress are known as opportunity and the explanation is a potential customer is known as a lead okay so what is a lead a potential customer when a deal with a lead is work in progress it's called an opportunity so whenever you see the word lead it's potential customer and whenever you see the word opportunity it is deal in progress question number 83 a salesforce associate is learning to use page layout he wants to collaborate with other developers who are working on the same to implement the solution in a faster manner where should he navigate to find other salesforce associate to collaborate with so over here the answer is question is basically is xyz person is using salesforce and for any reason if he wants to collaborate with someone who's also doing salesforce where he or she should go so we have three option ask a question in a trailblazer community group explore documentation on salesforce help search for modules in trailhead so if you want to particularly collaborate with someone the right thing will be to go to trailblazer community so this community is mainly created for such causes where someone who wants to collaborate with a human they don't want to read a good documentation they don't want to learn something they just want to talk to human and get a perspective or you know create friends who are doing the same thing so in such cases trailblazer community comes into place even if you have a question or you are trying to develop something on salesforce and you know you want to see if other people are also facing the same problem or they have same suggestions you can also go to trailblazer community and work it out so what is the collection of records so we have three options over here opportunity objects or leads so collection of records is called as objects which is also a table in salesforce so whenever you see collection of records it's objects question number 85 when you refresh your data salesforce updates the data for everyone who has access so the answer is true so when you refresh your dashboard as i told you earlier 
so it will be refreshed for every user basically what it will do it will fetch the latest data that is present on the portal and update the dashboard accordingly